In this video, we're going to go over how to use the accessibility shortcut for iPhones and other iOS devices. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. Whether you're blind, low vision, visually impaired, or just need a little bit of help, there are so many accessibility features built into Apple devices like iPhones and iPads. But sometimes you don't need those features all the time or you want to be able to have an easy way to turn them on and off, especially when you want to show or let somebody else borrow it who doesn't need those features. On iOS, you have a couple different options. You can ask Siri to do it for you if you're talking about voiceover or color inversion. So all you have to do is say voiceover on or off and invert colors on and off. Another way to do that is by using the accessibility shortcut. You open your device settings and go to general and accessibility. You can also ask Siri, open accessibility settings and she'll do that. The last option down is accessibility shortcut. Once you go into the accessibility shortcut settings, just pick the feature that you want. There's a lot of different things like voiceover, magnifier, zoom, color inversion, and a lot of other things. Pick whichever you want and from there, you can use your home button and triple press that. Voiceover on, portrait, phone, seven, voiceover off. If you don't have a home button, you can use the power button or the lock button and triple press that. Voiceover off. Voiceover on. You can also select more than one option, but once you triple press the home button or the lock button is going to pop up with a menu of which one you want to activate. So for voiceover users, it might be better to just use voiceover to turn that on and off. So that's how to use the accessibility shortcut on iPhones, iPads, and other iOS devices. Comment below if you use this shortcut and tell me what you use it for. I'll also be making a video on how to use the accessibility shortcut for Android and once that goes live, I will have a link to that in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and consider subscribing for more videos on tutorials like iPhone and Android and other things as well as tips and encouragement for the blind, low vision, or their sighted supporters. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.